electricity and the signals it produces are exactly the same from devices that appear to be different. So a controller for one teapot racer may control several by accident. And so as to avoid any untoward <laughs> teapot racing activity, we separate the teapot controllers into the safety zone of the judge's mercurial care. Like that. All right. <laughs> so you have two judges today, and we will discuss that. And just let. Oh, we. Oh, we need. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because the taller one was behind. That wasn't kind. Well, I'm not. That's not the taller one was in front. No, the taller one's in front now. What direction are you Oh my goodness. Thoughts? I'm inverted. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? It was in front and now it's behind. I'm confused. And I'm always confused. No, please come in, sit, sit, darling. I'm just rambling. You know how I am. You've seen me before. Time. We will ask your name and the name of your vehicle that is going through the course. And then we will give you an opportunity to arrange yourselves. If the racers would like to take this moment while I'm speaking to peruse the course, that is certainly permitted and I even encourage it. I will shortly walk the course and explain what in the bloody blazes of St. Tesla is going on. <laughs> All right. Oh, welcome. You came in at such a good time. We were at bloody blazes. Excellent choice. All right, I'm going to find stairs to get up here onto the ramp because I'm not allowed to climb. And when I mount it in other ways, like rolling onto it like a turtle and then crawling onto my back and trying to get my bustle into position, it's distracting. All right. <laughs> There's stairs if you go behind the curtain. Oh, stairs! Behind the curtain. Over there! Behind the curtain! Behind the curtain. How delightful is that? And the flag! Maybe it's that way. Uh, which way is it right? I don't know. That way. That way. This, this way? The other way. This way. All right. New Zealand! <laughs> Yay! Actually, it's hard for me to tell from up here. Also, I've never been to New Zealand. Surprisingly. And coming all the way from New Zealand to Arizona. Look. Yay. Yay. This is the starting light. You you start between New Zealand and Arizona. It's like a wormhole that you send your teapot racer through. Now over here is the founder of Splendid Teapot Racing, Simona Montgomery. Sadly, the wormhole makes it hard to see her, but we shall wave to Simona. Hello, Simona. Hello, Simona. Good to see you through the wormhole. I hope it's not too late or too early in New Zealand right now. It's like a different day there, isn't it? So. You're going to start races here at the starting line, which seems obvious, but you probably know, need to know which one is the starting line. So it's the flags from New Zealand and Arizona. And then, and look, it's not upside down or anything. No, I guess right side up. <laughs> then you are going to slalom through the sinister slalom. Woo! On your racer, right? It's a two-part slalom to commence. And then you're going to go to the Tater Tartar of Terror. Ooh. Right, so you start and you try and get it to tartar over, and hopefully it does for you. As we discussed, science happens and it's weighted at one end to assist you, because while we are mercurial, we're also kind. And then you're going to go from the Tater Tartar over to the Ramp of Doom. Now, you can approach the ramp at any angle that works for you, but you must get over the ramp, whether you go left to right, right to left, it doesn't matter to us, you merely have to get through the ramp. Now, these bits in the middle are called alligator teeth, and they are to prevent you from just like zipping across the ramp and pretending like it doesn't exist. <laughs> so there is a pathway you are expected to follow. Once you have left the ramp of doom, you continue with the sinister slalom. It's more sinister over here. You 
slalom a lot. And then you come up to the chasm of death. Dun, 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 dun. I love you people. <laughs> Marvelous. And you are going to mount the chasm, or the ramp that leads to the chasm, rather. Come up to the chasm and endeavor to jump the chasm. Which I'm going to Maybe just a snitch. Thank you. My OCD was king. All right. Perfect. <laughs> and then once you have left the chasm of death, dun, 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 dun. it's scot free home to the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> Races. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sweet baby Tesla. Your hair and your face are starting to match. <laughs> Give me a moment. I'm really embarrassed. All right. Um, teapot races. You have three minutes to complete this course. If you run over, we just keep track of it and you, you lose points. If you cannot complete one of the obstacles, you lose points. If you knock over an obstacle, we'll notice we'll probably knock a point off. However, showmanship and verve will add points. Cunning may add points. Bribery definitely adds points. <laughs> and the overall vehicle adds points. So you will be judged upon look, the hazards successfully completed, the overall completion of the course. So if you can't complete the hazards, still somehow magically get your racer from point A to point Z, right? And then finally, showmanship. And I must stress that Singing, dancing, and jokes are all encouraged. So if you feel like doing a Gene Kelly up here, we will accept that as an option. Do you have any questions before we commence? Yes. Can the teapot racers do a quick introduction so we know who we can cheer for? Oh, we will have them introduce themselves. And the teapot racers will go one at a time through the course, so I have plenty of opportunity to witness their prowess. It also permits for the narrowness of the course and, you know, disallows for things like um, Thunderdome, where the teapot <laughs> races are like one teapot in, two teapots enter, one leaves. We don't want teapots crashing. That's the teapot racing drag races. We do that sometimes, but today, it's the obstacle course of death instead. <laughs> right, so the obstacle course may kill you, but another teapot won't. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> so, all right, good question, though. We will make them introduce themselves because Mistress Margie and I have no mercy. Who else has a question? Anyone? Hello. Nice ensemble. Very like Lilo, right? Lilo? Did I get it right? All right, Lilo Dallas, all right. Any questions? Good. I'm going to attempt to not knock over the course and take my seat. We believe in you. Watch out for the chasm of death. <laughs> you have lost the point. <laughs> so now you know if I can knock it over, surely you can too. Thank you. I'm out of control. I'm a dangerous creature. 30 by 30 by 40 centimeters. It's an in inches. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all in inches. All right, converting from metric to imperial units. This is why I never use metric units in tea dueling. Imperial is definitely the way to go. I haven't done metric in many, many, you know, centuries, really. 12 by 16. What? 12 by 16. By 16 inches. 12 inches by 16 inches. Right, okay. Thank you. 12 by 12 by 16. I'm going to write that down. Yes. So it can be 12 inches wide, 12 
inches long, 16 high. <laughs> right. If you're out of those, you know, dimensions, it's all right. You could always bribe us. <laughs> or, you know, smile charmingly and flirt with us. That works too. Mistress Margie and I both like to flirt. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. 12 by 12 by 16. Who would like to hold our measuring tape? Would you? No, you, I mean that. Yes, madam, please come forth. Be our measuring tape fairy. Are you a fairy? I'm supposed to be a flower. You're a flower. I'm missing my flowers. Oh, good. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> oh, how cute. She's dehydrated. That was adorable. The wrong, though, doesn't it? <laughs> um, my goodness, what? A, that's delightful. Could we have the measuring flower measure the rum bottle, please? Seven by six. Ooh, it's tall. It is very tall. Makes it tippy. <laughs> Well, it is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> By, um, I'm scared of the chasm. I think Everyone's I'm scared of the chasm. Into that. It is okay. deathly. <laughs> it's all right, though. Because you can always, you know, rescue your racer okay. from the chasm. Okay. Hands on are allowed when needed. And just remember, when in doubt, pinky's out, all right? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so are you ready, madam? I'm ready. Best racing flag ever. <laughs> The delightful Mary Bennett zombie killer will be our mistress of time because, you know, she's timely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is there anything you'd like to say? Last minute? <laughs> I wish I really had wishes. <laughs> alright, that's alright. Go! And she's commenced the sinister slalom. Ooh, very good. And acquitted herself marvelously. She's on to the teeter mount, the limb of the teeter It's so terrifying. There she goes. Oh. So close. Okay, get a running, running start. Backing up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Running start. Yeah. All right. There we go. Here we go. Advantage on the teeter totter. You can do it. All right, she's taking a walk. Nail biting! Nail biting! It's exciting! 
I'm afraid of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the longer. castle is terrifying. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm it, well, dun, that's dun, right. Dun. No, the castle is exactly the round of doom. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, the castle is more terrifying. Yeah, drink from the bottle. Ah, uh, yes, you may drink from the bottle. Oh. <laughs> It's over engineered. Time okay, <laughs> for Madame Askew to amuse herself. Welcome to our Conflagration 500. I hope you live through the experience. Oh, yes? What? Oh, we don't have to reset the chasm. Wait a minute, did you bribe us? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> you know, I mean, like... Oh. Oh. oh! Those are good bribes. Good bribes. I think we know the winner. <laughs> Tea cookies! Excellent bribe. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. And yes, you may walk the course with your teapot. Well, absent can do that to a person. 
don't teen drive. All right, all right. It's a fierce of teapot racer. I think that's the rum bottle in here. Right. It will kill the sinister swallow or die trying. <laughs> Oh, good show, good show, excellent. All right, and now we're coming up to the beach of Air Tartar. <laughs> oh my god. It's lunging. Can she do it? Oh, oh. she's so close. Oh, we're so careful. <laughs> what do I have in my hand? I don't even know. Alright. <laughs> oh. Yes. 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 Oh. It has fierce power of a thousand stallions. <laughs> If you can take out a mason jar, you can yeah, take out a gator too. Take out a gator <laughs> 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 Just go! Go straight up! Oh! Okay, there we go. Can she do it? I mean, we did set it up according to our whim, so there was no science involved in the actual layout. Ha, ha, ha. 